So God gives gifts of apostleship and also as prophets. So mm -hmm. he gives gifts of prophets. Mm -hmm. What do we, <laughs> how do we understand the office of a prophet today? Mm -hmm. Now, again, just like in the New Testament, I don't think prophets today mm -hmm. operate in the same way that prophets did during that time. Mm -hmm. They lived and moved mm -hmm. and worked in a time where fresh revelation was taking place. Mm -hmm. They were receiving mm -hmm. fresh revelation from God mm -hmm. in order to speak forth mm -hmm. the message of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Cause the gospel was new. <laughs> The Not only that, but for example, in the Old Old Testament, there was nobody God spoke to directly. He wouldn't answer your prayers directly. He wouldn't speak to you. You wouldn't hear him when you're praying. You wouldn't hear him talk back to you. So there in the needed, New Testament? In the Old Testament. What do you mean? In the Old Testament. So there was prophets that came. Mm -hmm. And they were the only person that the Lord spoke to directly. Sometimes. In the temple. Sometimes. Sometimes. In the temple. Sometimes the prophets did, in fact, speak with God. But mm -hmm. there are certain instances in the Old Testament where mm -hmm. people are not necessarily prophets. And yet mm -hmm. they receive mm -hmm. a direct audible voice or they mm -hmm. see something. Yes, but those are like, for example, like a king or like Joseph and mm -hmm. Mary, like important events, not to random people. <laughs> right yeah no yeah so, so a prophet was like a, a like a mediator to the yes. per, to the people yes, of god is, or to the he nation is almost of israel like an image of what jesus would be in the future he would be the yeah because jesus is man. the is the is the is, prophet of the yeah, lord <laughs> yes. exactly so not a prophet the <laughs> prophet of the lord yes so it's really important that mm -hmm. as believers that we um that we take into consideration um, what, um, what was I going to say? It's really important that we do not associate New Testament prophets as being equal to Old Testament prophets. Because mm -hmm. yes. there is a difference. Yes. But even from today's prophets and, and the New Testament, the New Testament mm -hmm. prophets, we still have to differentiate the differences. Again, the prophets of the New Testament operated in a specific way in a specific time mm -hmm. receiving fresh revelation about the mysteries of the gospel mm -hmm. so we have new testament prophets like agabus like the daughters of philip i believe philip the evangelist mm -hmm. has four prophesying prophetess daughters mm -hmm. what they prophesy we're not told we're told a few things about what agabus prophesies he prophesies of a coming famine mm -hmm. and he prophesies about paul um, being chained up now prophets primarily speak forth god's word mm -hmm. they speak it forth mm -hmm. as a mediator to the people of god mm -hmm. preachers i think today operate in some level of mm -hmm. prophecy mm -hmm. so your pastor on any given sunday when he's if he's a spirit born believer mm -hmm. and he's preaching forth the word of god in the spirit, I think he is acting in some level or another prophetically because mm -hmm. the purpose of preaching is to bring fresh understanding, not fresh revelation, but fresh understanding to what God mm -hmm. has already spoken in his word. Mm -hmm. So in that way, I think he's out. They operate prophetically. Mm -hmm. um, do you disagree with anything I just said right no. now? Okay. Mm -mm. Now. I just asked you a question before we started, mm -hmm. right? So I want you to say that again. Mm -hmm. Because you've told me that that you have had senses of the Spirit leading you to give prophetic words to people. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, what is that like? Because I've, I don't think I've ever had something like mm -hmm. that where in the moment or spontaneously. Well, the, I told yeah. you that it's pr pretty much... Uh, a word of like prophecy or discernment works the same way at least to me mm -hmm. where it's almost like any given day i can be 
praying to God, having a conversation with God. And like there's times where we argue and the Lord tells me, go and forgive him. Go ask for, <laughs> go ask for forgiveness. And it's just a conversation that I have with the Lord. But when it comes to outside knowledge and outside people and the Lord is just telling me, go and talk to them. And I'm like, why? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why? And just go and talk to them. They're going through something. And there's been times where I don't listen because I'm like, what are you talking about, Lord? I have no idea about their situation. I don't know. Yeah. Like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure you're telling me yeah. to do this? And then I don't do it. And then I find out they were going through something. And because I was an obedient, the Lord didn't, I didn't allow the Lord to work through me. And there's been other times where I still don't know. I walk up to the person and the Lord at that moment, because of obedient, being obedient, the Lord will reveal something for me to say, an encouragement or just a few words that he can give me and it helps them mm -hmm. get through something or they'll just start opening up and the Lord uses me yeah. in some form. But it is pretty much like that feeling that you have when, you're talking to the Lord and the Lord is telling you to do something and you just feel like your heart be like start pounding and you're <laughs> just like, I don't know, Lord, mm -hmm. is this really you? Mm -hmm. But I think I've had more um, words of discern or discernment. I don't know if it would be considered words of discernment. It's just the gift of discernment. But mm -hmm. Just the gift of, of discerning discern spirits, uh -huh, a discerning spirit. Mm -hmm. And it's usually when somebody is in sin, I have no idea what that sin is. And usually it pertains to men. So I don't think the Lord is going to actually ever tell me what that sin is because it's not my place to. What you mean by, what you mean by discerning spirit is, mm -hmm. um, you have you have a specific ability that i think god does give you mm -hmm. to be wise around certain people mm -hmm. and to be cautious mm -hmm. but there's been times where i have no idea i don't know the person or i might know the person yep. and we've all hung out before and then out of nowhere the lord is just telling me there's something wrong with them there's something wrong with them there. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? We've hung out with them before, Lord. It's like, just a warning of caution. It's, it's almost like I know they're sinning. The Lord is telling me they are in sin. But that's as far as it goes. The Lord will not tell me what it is because it's like I said, it's usually the man. So it's not my place to go and tell them anything. Mm. See, when, I think when some, some when people hear that, sometimes they think, or maybe you're just being judgmental. Mm -hmm. And the <laughs> thing is, I'm not because I don't tell you anything. Mm. I just view it as the Lord is telling me to be cautious with this person. And then later on, their sin comes out. And then I'm like, that's what you were talking about, Lord. But the reality is, is because I'm a woman, I don't think the Lord would tell me, go tell them. Mm. I think that would be your place. So I don't know if he's necessarily telling me to tell you. <laughs> well, I mean, we've talked about this before because even now it's, mm -hmm. it's a strange thing to me because mm -hmm. um, I've never, again, I've never received that kind of mm -hmm. discerning spirit or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I've never received a spontaneous mm -hmm. prophetic word to give to somebody mm -hmm. and i'm okay with that because i know that i can't just have all the gifts because then the <laughs> so you remember that time when the lord told you to get out there's something wrong you should not be in this class get out of your class get up and go oh yeah uh-huh mm -hmm. it's almost like that like you, the lord is telling you no this is wrong this is wrong the th only thing is i don't always get all the information and that's the main reason why i don't speak out i don't say anything because i only get bits and pieces of it <laughs> yeah and if you guys have comments or questions so, feel free to post them I mean, and and i know that's not like everybody's scenario like that's not how the lord will operate with everybody but for me that's the way the Lord has revealed things to me. Mm -hmm. And I just put it in prayer and I always think like, what if it is, what if I am just being judgmental? What if I, I just think I'm, I tell him I'm more of the pessimist in our relationship. He's more optimistic than I am. 
So I always think like, what if I'm just being pessimistic and just think all men are just wretched, depraved? Which is true. We which are. Which is true. <laughs> but by the grace of God. But it's not clean. just men. It's yeah. women also. Well, of course. So, okay. We're, what she's not saying is she doesn't rely on the word. She does rely. You rely on the word for God to speak to you. Mm-hmm. about holiness, about Christian living, mm-hmm. about faithfulness to God, mm-hmm. about persevering to the end. Mm-hmm. What we're talking about specifically is is the gift of prophecy, or in this sense, mm-hmm. the office of prophet. Mm-hmm. Sh- would you consider yourself a prophet? No. Okay, so no. that's important to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> then the reason I wanted to bring her into this is because she's explained to me a few times about some prophetic words that she has had the sensation to tell people about and yet has even told me that she's very cautious about Mm -hmm. giving those words Mm -hmm. because i think there's a stigma in the church especially in charismatic pentecostal continuationist circles that if someone claims to have a prophetic word that that word is final it's Mm -hmm. from god so obviously i have to listen to it Mm mm-hmm you don't. Mm-mm. You don't have to listen to it. No, because there have been times where I thought the Lord was revealing something to me and it was out of emotion. And thankfully, I didn't say anything because that would have been hurtful for me to tell somebody mm. this information. If anything, most of the time, you're very cautious and you usually don't say. You mm-hmm. usually tell me, I just I just prayed for that person mm-hmm. over that thing that the Lord was revealing to me or that mm-hmm. prophetic word. Usually, if it's a word of encouragement or building up, then you'll say it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because then you can't do anything wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to rebuking sin or when it comes to mm-hmm. um, exposing something in somebody's life, that kind of prophetic word, she seems to be what I've noticed a little more cautious. Gladys Pacheco, she said, I believe that when we discern those moments without full details, the Lord just prompts us to pray for them and even pray in tongues because we doubt, we doubt, we don't have a target to pray for, mm-hmm. for them. Yeah, I think I think that's really important. And mm-hmm. uh, if you have the gift of tongues, obviously the gift of tongues is meant to build one up yourself up. And if you are praying in tongue, obviously you are trying to build yourself up. Um, but it's also good to pray uh, whatever the Lord's putting on your heart and do it in such a way that it, it builds yourself up as well. So I think that's that's a that's a good point. Usually when the Lord prompts us to say something, usually it's for us to pray for them. Mm-hmm. Now, the office of prophet is different. Mm-hmm. When somebody claims to be a prophet, they what they're saying is, they operate in a specific office Mm -hmm. where they receive specific revelation from God to give forth to some, to God's people, Mm -hmm. either for rebuking, for building up, for encouraging and Mm -hmm. for equipping or for whatever purpose Mm -hmm. that I think is taken primarily by the pastor teacher. Mm hmm. Are there other prophets that can operate in that way periodically throughout the church? Yes, I think there are. But as soon as someone says, I'm a prophet, I have secret knowledge of the future. Here's my secret knowledge. You must obey it. That's where my antennas go up. My spiritual antenna, my spiritual radar goes up and I'm I'm super cautious about those kinds of prophets because I've never met a prophet who has foretold future events that have come true. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't either. Even when it doesn't pertain to end times or like in the far future, there's been plenty of prophets that I've seen that have spoken out about events that would happen within the next year. Mm Mm-hmm and different ones and they've come out to be wrong and they've never been rebuked and they've super wrong yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you couldn't possibly get it more wrong mm-hmm. than than the pro the prophecy the prophecy that they foretold mm-hmm. and that's why i'm very ca- when somebody gives a prophetic word if you want to say prophetic 
of where it's a word of encouragement and building up in somebody who's just having a hard time. They don't know that they're having a hard time, but the Lord prompts them. Go speak a word over them. Mm -hmm. Go pray over them. I think we should be obedient to that. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we assume that we have this secret knowledge about somebody, mm -hmm. I would be very cautious mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. I would probably keep silent and just pray mm -hmm. and just ask the Lord, Lord, if this is true, just pray please be with this person you know bring them back to the straight and narrow mm -hmm. because the last thing you want to do is presume you have knowledge about something that you don't have because mm -hmm. then you're making god a liar because mm -hmm. what prophets are saying is this is from god mm -hmm. here's god's message to you and then if it's wrong you're making god the liar mm -hmm. to that person yeah and the scriptures tell us that we should test prophecies. Mm -hmm. The Lord tells us we should test everything. <laughs> yeah. When, you're, everything. when, when your preacher is at the pulpit mm -hmm. and he's giving these words, test those words. If mm -hmm. a prophet stands up and says, I have a prophecy, test those prophecies. If somebody stands up and says, I have a tongue, test the tongue. Mm -hmm. Like, test everything. It's not wrong for us to, t if anything, it's wise according mm -hmm. to the scriptures.